the Houston Rockets, leading 3-2 in the best-of-seven NBA Western Conference Finals playoff series, tried to eliminate the Golden State Warriors in Game 6 on Saturday, May 26, 2018, May 26, 18, at Oracle Arena in Oakland, California. When is Celtics vs. Cavs, Game 7? The Warriors, led by Stephen Curry and Kevin Durant, tried to force a Game 7 against the Rockets, led by James Harden. Here's the AP Recap, Oakland, Calif. AP, Clay Thompson hit 9 three-pointers and scored 35 points, the Warriors held James Harden down in the second half, and Golden State rallied from an early 17-point deficit to stave off elimination with a 115-86 victory over the Houston Rockets on Saturday night to force a B-side in Game 7 in the Western Conference Finals. Stephen Curry added 29 points and 5 threes on a night hard and dazzled for long stretches with 32 points, 9 assists and 7 rebounds while backcourt mate Chris Paul sat outside lined by a strained right hamstring. Kevin Durant struggled with his stroke at 6 for 17 but still scored 23 points as the defending champions kept their repeat quest alive by thoroughly outplaying Houston in the second half. The Warriors outscored the Rockets 55-20 in the second half before both coaches subbed their key players with 4.28 left. A dynamic, star-studded series projected to be as captivating and compelling as the actual NBA Finals is going the distance. Game 7 is Monday night back in Houston. Golden State's time eat Harden on consecutive possessions early in the fourth with smothering defense led by Nick Young and several helpers, then Thompson hit a three-pointer from the left wing at 9.44 and 89-77 led. And Roaring Oracle Arena went crazy with hopes of even more home games to come if Golden State can get to a fourth straight finals. Thompson came through with his best performance of these playoffs with the season on the line, just as he did in a 2016 Game 6 of the Western Conference Finals at Oklahoma City when he went off for 41 points against Durant and the Thunder to force Game 7. He was a combined 20 of 32 from three-point range in those two games. I don't want to go home, Thompson said. We worked too hard this season to go home. This is what we play for. The Warriors used another of their signature third quarters to take an 84-77 advantage going into the final 12 minutes, then maintained that dominant level this time down the stretch, unlike their last home game at Roaring Oracle Arena when they blew it in Game 4 on Tuesday. Both teams let it fly from every corner of the court, Golden State hitting 16 three-pointers and Houston 15. The Warriors outscored Houston 93-47 over the final three quarters. Thompson's baseline three in transition with 335 left in the third put the Warriors up 76-74, then Curry hit from way back the next time down over Gerald Green. Curry did it again moments later from deep. The Warriors opened the third with an 11-0 burst to go ahead 62-61 on Curry's three at 9-17, also getting a pair of threes from Thompson and a dunk by Durant. Houston committed four quick turnovers. Yellow-clad Oracle came alive, too. Golden State did playing again without forward Andre Iguodala, who missed his third straight game of the series with a bone bruise in his left knee sustained in Game 3. Tippins Rockets, the Rockets made 8 of 12 three-pointers in the first and topped the Warriors 19-4 in fast break points. Houston committed 11 first-half turnovers, 5 early. Harden shot 4 for 12 on threes. Warriors, Golden State's 33-point third quarter was its first 30-point period since the third in Game 4. The Warriors shot 4 for 18 in the first half from a long range. Golden State is 4 1 when facing elimination dating to the 2015 championship.
the Warriors are 16-8 all-time in Game 6 of postseason series. Second-year G. Patrick McCaw, who had been out since a scary back injury at Sacramento on March 31 when undercut by Vince Carter, received a roaring ovation when he entered the game late. He quickly grabbed a rebound. Curlis did Iguodala as day-to-day because there's still pain in the knee when running. Paul's presence Paul is receiving treatment around the clock, according to coach Mike D'Antoni. Having him on hand still meant so much. He's devastated. He has to be. We're all devastated for him. At the same time, we'll rally and do what's right, D'Antoni said. He's so integral in what we do in the spirit of the team. And him being here is a big deal, and him being on the bench is a big deal. He'll will us through, if he can, Warriors coach Steve Kerr felt terribly for Paul and others who have gone down. More than anything, I feel bad for Chris. The guy is a phenomenal player and competitor, and pretty much willed his team the last two games. He's just been haunted by these types of injuries in his career, and it's a shame, Kerr said. I hate when anybody gets hurt. I hate when Andre got hurt. I hate to see Kevin Love last night, Kyrie Irving. These guys train so hard and they're here and they're competing, and you want everybody to be healthy, but just the reality is it usually doesn't work out that way. So you've just got to keep playing with whoever's there and keep going, here's what you need to know, who, Rockets vs Warriors, what Game 6, Western Conference Finals win, Saturday May 26, 2018 where, Oracle Arena, Oakland, California. Time, 9 p.m. Eastern TV, TNT Livestream, TND Drama Line, Warriors minus 12 over, under, 212.5 Money Line, Warriors minus 1200, Rockets 750 Series Schedule, Monday May 14th, Golden State 119, Houston 106 Wednesday May 16th, Monday May 28th, Golden State at Houston, 9 p.m. X if necessary notes, if the Golden State Warriors are worried as they head into Game 6 of the Western Conference Finals on the brink of elimination, they aren't showing it. We have a chance to tie the series at home. That's a pretty good position to be in, Coach Steve Kerr said. We've got to win two basketball games and we've done that an awful lot, so we're very confident. The defending champions trail Houston 3-2 in the best of seven series after consecutive wins by the Rockets, capped by Thursday night's 98-94 victory. Now the series shifts to Oracle Arena, a place where the Warriors have lost just one time in their last 17 playoff games. Stephen Curry said the Warriors are encouraged despite falling behind in the series because they believe both games could have gone their way and that a few simple corrections will get them back on track. We have an opportunity to re-establish ourselves at home, get a big win, keep ourselves alive, and then roll the dice into Game 7, Curry said. Not all is lost, Houston's big win in Game 5 was tempered by a hamstring injury to star Chris Paul which will keep him out of Saturday's game. It's a major blow for a team which is looking to reach the NBA Finals for the first time in more than two decades. The Rockets believe they can absorb this loss and don't seem daunted by the setback, in noting that they found ways to win in the regular season in many games where Paul sat out with injuries. I don't have a doubt, D'Antoni said. They see the challenge, whether CPs there or not, it's a heck of a challenge, and they're up to it. They're looking forward to it, the Associated Press contributed to this report.